Hello everyone, Tom here again from Smartland and welcome to another video blog. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a passive real estate investment business. Many people like to invest in passive real estate for either extra income or maybe to plan for retirement. Passive real estates are great if you are working a nine to five and you don't have time to be a full time landlord or you're investing out of state. First, what exactly is a passive real estate investment? There are two main types of real estate investments. There's active and passive. Active is much more hands-on. Maybe you're gonna be the full-time landlord yourself. Uh, it's gonna become a full-time job for you. Or maybe you're gonna flip the property yourself and you're gonna either do a lot of the work yourself or you're gonna hire contractors. On the other hand, passive is much more hands-off, exactly as it sounds. Maybe you're gonna do a flip, but this time you're gonna hire a project manager or a contractor who's gonna spearhead the project for you or you're gonna purchase a turnkey investment that's gonna need little to no work and it might even have a tenant in place ready to be cash flowing from the beginning. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is develop a plan. Maybe you're gonna purchase a turnkey or you're gonna possibly flip the property. It depends on what type of property you're looking for. You could be looking for a turnkey, you could be looking for a single family home, an apartment, a condo, a townhouse. All of those types of properties are gonna involve different types of research. And number one you wanna look out for is location. That is key in real estate, as they always say. Maybe you're gonna invest in your local market, or maybe you live in a market that's a little too high in price, so you're gonna look into a different state. Maybe markets like Cleveland or Detroit where prices are a little bit lower and a little bit more affordable. Next, do your homework. It depends on what type of property you're gonna be buying, whether it's a single family home or an apartment, make sure you do the research in that property. You wanna do a market analysis on each one, and you wanna determine if it's gonna be cash flowing appropriately for you, or if you're gonna be flipping, it's gonna appreciate in value for the right amount for you. And again, do not get too emotionally attached on this property. That is key. Maybe the bathroom's on the first floor, maybe it's on the second floor, maybe you prefer it on the second floor, it doesn't matter. You are not the one living there. Do not get that attached to the property. What's important to remember is that the tenant is either gonna be renting it from you or someone's gonna be buying it from you. That is key. Next. And I cannot stress this one enough, find the right property management company for you. If you're gonna be investing in passive real estate, the property management company is what it all comes down to. They're gonna be the one handling the communication, the tenant placement, the rent collections, everything. So you're gonna want a property management company that is transparent, honest, and upfront about everything. Before you get involved with them, ask them about their fees, ask them about their policies when it comes to maintenance or tenant placement or tenant screening. Also ask them about their average vacancy, their average lease lengths, and their average tenant stay. That is gonna give you a lot of information and it's gonna help you determine if they're the right fit for you. Well, that's it for this topic. I hope you enjoyed this. Please read more about this subject or feel free to read more about our other topics and our other blogs. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and especially YouTube. This is Tom from Smartland. See you again next time.